Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we will learn that how we can create a responsive dashboard for cash flow statement. In our earlier videos, we have already discussed profit and loss, balance sheet, and ratio analysis. And today we are going to discuss net cash flow, operating cash flow, investing, and financing cash flow. We will also know that how we have added new variables in our connected database in Google Sheets and also we will know that how we can again insert those data in our Google Data Studio to make these elegant charts and scorecards. So let's see how we have added new columns in our Google Sheet database. Before we start further, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive our latest video notification. We have added here new three or four columns which are operating cash flow, investing cash flow, financing cash flow and net cash flow. We have taken this data from accounting software and we have pasted here in column format. You need to remember one thing that the text should be the format will be a plain text format and the numbers or these currency values should be the format should be a number format or a currency format we will make it as a number format if you will not select the correct format of the cells values so you will face problems in google data studio in presentation of the data so let's discuss that how we can create our google data studio dashboard let's see how we can make our cash flow statement using this database and we have added these new fields and how we can export these fields to the google data studio this was our report and if we click on cash flow we don't have any data yet here so we will go to edit mode and what we need to do here we need to go to resource and we need to click on manage edit data resource we will add it what we will do here we will refresh fields if we refresh the fields google data studio will show us new fields as you can see here these four columns are the new fields in our google sheets you can see here so what we need to do here we need to click on apply okay our new data variables are added here so click on done and close now we can start our report as we have here our variables added in this report the first thing we need to do is we need to create a title here cash flow statement we will format this as per our requirement we will make it blue bold and we will increase the font now we will create some scorecards here we have one scorecard and we will make this scorecard as net cash flow metric we need to change here only the metric now we need to add comparison we will add comparison with previous year data apply okay we need to go to style and we will use here compact numbers and it is hide comparison label and if you unchoose hide comparison label you can see the comparison data from previous year or from the previous period next we will make here white and outline blue add border shadow okay if we go to view mode you can see our first scorecard is ready for the net cash flow we will go to edit we will copy and paste the same scorecards for operating cash flow paste for investing paste for financing cool we will go to the scorecard only we will click on it we will change here operating cash flow metric 
okay we will click on this scorecard and we will change your investing metric will be investing cash flow we will click on the next scorecard and we can make here financing cash flow cool <coughs> as you can see here we don't have data for the previous year sometime it shows like that so what you need to do here well, you need to go here and make it as previous period or you can make as a custom date the previous period will be also the same as the previous month or the previous year if you click on apply it will show the values so 244 days instead of 263 days for the year so the next thing we need to do is we need to add a time series chart as you can see here our data is showing the daily basis like 25 27 so what we need to go we need to go to edit mode click on your time series chart and make it here dimension as monthly as you can see here this is year and month data monthly we are going to choose the metric here net cash flow and we will add a comparison this with the previous year we will click on apply and we have here the comparison now we need to format our time series chart go to style and we will use bars here okay and white background add border shadow okay and we can add a label here for this net cash flow we will format this to blue and 24 bold now we need to create an area chart here we need to resize it and increase little bit this one okay what we have here the dimension is copy of date okay and the breakdown dimension will be branch and net cash flow if we go to style we can have show points so the points will be here if you want to see the numbers you can see the compact numbers show data label it will show the data labels also and background will be white and add border shadow we need to add here a title net cash flow by branch net cash flow by month okay cool we can change the color even if you want to change the color of the staking here you can change the color uh, we can click here series order and we can change one color like this color we can make it orange okay cool it's looking fine if we go to view mode you can see the data points and the area covered by each branch now we will go to edit we will copy the time series chart and paste here we need here operating cash flow by branch what we need to do here we need to click on this chart let's arrange it first and we will go to data and this is dimension is monthly okay breakdown dimension will be branch and we don't need here a comparison okay and here will be operating cash flow metric go to style and 
here we can choose series number two as a bar border white add border shadow we will copy this and we will make here investing cash flow we need to change the data here operating cash flow will be investing metric and we can change the color we can select one here orange color and here we can select this color or orange and yellow is i think is better okay now the next thing we need to copy and paste again and here will be financing cash flow go to data and here will be financing cash flow so we will go to style and we will change the color of the line we will make one green and one we can make this color cool we will arrange distribute horizontal arrange vertical in middle we will arrange this one also arrange vertical in middle if we go to view mode you can see our cash flow dashboard is ready as you can see here we can see our net cash flow by month and with the comparison of previous period and we can see here by area and by numbers in this chart by branch and here our operating cash flow investing cash flow and financing cash flow according to the branch wise you can make as much as graphs or as many charts you want you can add also the pie chart here if you wish to present the data according to your choice.